implementing finance uh, changes. It's funny, you know, after spending how many you know, months, 10 years ago or so, trying to clean up elections, um, the majority is starting to roll back. Yeah, so, it, it, you know, it's funny because you can be either all in or all out on this. And that, that's frankly the way I am. So how do you just let, you know, campaigns basically wide open, just you know, tell us where the money's coming from and it's First Amendment and you can, you can contribute what you want. Or if you're going to have a structured uh, system like we have now, um, make it structured. But, uh, but so every year for the last three years, so that the majority comes back and tries to change the rules, give the governor more of the public money, change who can give it to. So, you know, so that is actually going to be money coming from secret sources, which is one of the rationales for, of creating campaign finance to begin with. So that was a, a, a early voting. I mean, that, yeah. that's tied together. Well, and, and, and I think tied together is the important word because um, I, I'd like you to reflect back to the last session last year. Um, that this past move one before, what happened was there was actually a move to take um, a lot of the voting stuff that we have out of our constitution in the state. Now what happened is that failed. It failed, which meant if they brought it back again and got a simple majority, then it could be taken out. So they couldn't do a constitutional amendment the first time, but because it passed by a simple majority, they look at it a second year, which was this year. So they took out of our constitution a lot of the voting issues with respect to absentee ballots and things like that. There's been a move, basically, for them to put, uh, the legislature to put more control in the hands of the Secretary of State with respect to voting laws. And what you're seeing here is, is more of that. So you're seeing this kind of this overall plan of you know, getting rid of some of the safeguards that we have with respect to campaign financing. The early voting measures, you know, they're always put out there and say, oh, well, this is to help everybody get in and vote. And this, you know, there's a lot of controversy with that. And I know there are ideas down the line about everything from online voting to motor voting. And, but but what, by, by taking that out of our Constitution, they were able to do that. And the real problem there was in the Constitution when it was there for absentee balloting, that was a good program because you get an absentee ballot and it was verifiable and they could check it out. And there was, a, uh, there was also the ability to have a provisional ballot. Now with all these things that go wrong and um, any of this stuff, if it's... If it's if there's a vote cast, it's counted. There's no such thing as a provisional ballot anymore. There's, so if somebody was, goes in and registers uh, their, their name the same day, and, and they have a, they're a corner lot that's empty, nobody could find that out. And if they do find it out too late, it doesn't, excuse me, it doesn't matter, it, doesn't, it counts. That, that's what we're facing And right it, now. that's voter suppression. I mean, and this, it is, because I think it's, it's yeah. still, we still have to clear another hurdle to get the full same day registration of vote. There's still a couple more things, but it's yeah. essentially done. It's like what Dan was saying. People say, oh, you know, you guys are trying to suppress votes. No, what we're trying to do is not suppress votes. Because if someone goes into Canaan and says, I'm John Chabin, and votes, they're going to, yeah. first of all, the towns are all going to have to spend a ton of money to try and set up some kind of internet connection, which doesn't exist in half the state. Um, but basically, so when the real John Chabin shows up, I'm blocked. So it's actually a two votes. Yeah. It's actually which, a two votes. And you don't need an ID to do it. Yeah. Which is, I, I, it's kind of funny. I mean, when you're, when you're talking on the floor of the House, you're not allowed to use visual aids. So like you see the Senate down in, in Washington, D.C., they got that nice easel up there and the guy's pointing to the chart. You can't do that in the House. So the day we were talking about some of these uh, same-day voter registrations uh, or voting and voting without an ID, uh, in, in five minutes flat, I looked online, found out how to make a fake um, uh, utility bill. Right, yeah, yeah. And then I think I, cho I chose the cell phone because I just was my Verizon bill was right there. So very simply, I cut it out and I took the speaker's address and I put it in there. And I took Larry Caffaro's name and I put it in there. So you know, I had to share. Larry Caffaro is a minority leader. And I printed it out in the back and I went down and handed it to Larry. I said, what do you think of this? And the thing is, I can go vote with that. I can go register to vote with that. Because it's, you don't require an ID to register to vote either. And, and that's what we're up against, I think, in 2014. And I don't care which party you are. I just oh, think yeah, that's right. wrong. And I that's, just it, think that's wrong. It's just right. right. This isn't voter suppression. It's, it's, it's voter security. Because yeah. if you can't trust elections, you know, the whole system comes around. Yeah. Sir. Uh, what is the current law on voter fraud? Suppose somebody was caught voting illegally. Right. What is the penalty? I think it's been upgraded to a, to like a pretty stiff fine. But you're not going to get caught. I, I have to no. find out, but it's, it's getting caught. It's the issue. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. It, but I know we. I know yeah. part of this is where we've increased the fine. If someone's going to commit voter fraud, they're doing it for a, 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 a yeah. so, But the okay. fines went up. But it's yeah. so. So let's talk about a couple of 